Hey, what's up guys? This is Kevin the Tech Ninja and today I have for you the Cooler Master Master Box 5. This chassis lets you customize this case to fit your needs. Also, it comes in well under $100, which makes it one of the best affordable customizable cases. Let's discuss the case. It's made from steel with a plastic mesh bezel and you can find it in white or black. The dimensions of the case is 500 millimeters by 220 by 475 millimeters. This case is customizable, as I mentioned before, so you can toss in a variety style of boards. It also has seven expansion slots and three drive bays. The I.O. ports on the front are pretty simplistic with two USB 3.0 ports and audio in and out, and obviously the power button. For pre-installed fans, you have two 120 millimeter, one in the front and one in the back. This case also supports other fan sizes, so you could toss in two 140 in the front, or you can use the included bracket to get three 120 millimeter fans in the front. If you're like me, you want liquid cooling, this supports 240 or 280 millimeter radiators and up to 50 millimeters thickness without a fan. I installed the cooler in the wrong location to show the flexibility of the case, showing you that the case has generic holes on the back and all over where you can pretty much mount anything anywhere. Now if I were to keep this build, I would move it back towards the bottom just because it has the cutouts there for it. The side panel has a large window for viewing your components and overall this case is pretty basic but it does give you the ability to build a pretty attractive looking build due to its cutouts and super clean design. Now that we got the specs out of the way let's talk about how I have mine set up. I'm putting in an ATX motherboard and using the M2 slot for my solid state. So I was able to remove the SSD tray on the bottom to make room for my Corsair H100i which is a 240mm radiator for liquid cooling. To free up even more space I removed the expansion base and when it's all said and done the case is pretty hollow but it gave me a really nice looking build with tons of airflow room. Now I did swap out one of the back fans with this one from BitPhoenix, it's 120mm and this added this white LED that I thought would match pretty nicely. Now the temperature in the case and also the noise was very quiet and very cool which was pretty good. Um, overall this is a good builder's case, it allows for tons of flexibility and also the ability to hide cords to make it for a very clean build. Now for the price you can't go wrong and overall I do recommend this case. The materials may not feel very premium as this case is very light but for sub $100 it's hard to find something that much better. Anyways guys, this is Kevin the Tech Ninja and this is the Cooler Master, Master Box 5. Hit the links down below to pick it up for less than $100. You can find this case online at many different websites linked down below, but check out b &H Photo. They're actually the people that give me the components for these builds, so a big thank you to them once again for allowing me to do this case review. As always guys, I'm Kevin the Tech Ninja. Have a great day and I'll talk to you folks later. Peace.